Okay, I have a little tip for you about curly hair. Um, I found myself as I was going through this journey very um, overwhelmed um, by so much information. So I'm going to bring these to you occasionally as um, just little tidbits and one thing at a time. Um, if you have figured out your cast and how to scrunch and all of that, then this is going to be helpful to you. Even if you haven't, then hopefully this will be helpful as well. Um, we all know what friction does to curls. Frizz, right? And that's that's the thing that so many curly people um, are concerned about is frizz. I don't worry too much about frizz. I don't want like a, you know, big moppy frizz, but there's such a thing as functional frizz and pretty frizz and frizz just is what it is. And sometimes it's unavoidable. Um, I got a good cast today, so that's why I chose to do this video today. I don't, sometimes I don't get a good cast, sometimes I do, but I use um, either a DIY flaxseed gel or um, orange marmalade by Echo Slay, and that is what I use today. Um, I, it is, this is a full wash day, just so you know, if you know anything about this curly journey at all. Um, this is a full wash day for me, and uh, so I used Innersense Hydrate Hair Bath. Um, Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner, um, Sweet Spirit Leave-In, just a little bit of that. And what I, I forgot that one because I don't usually use it, but I'm trying to figure some things out, so I tried it today, but I ended up forgetting it, so I actually added it to my palms when I had already put the um, Quiet Calm Curl Control on my hands and... Um, emulsified that a little bit and then I sprayed a little sweet spirit and rubbed it some more. Um, so I had my first curly cut last week and uh, the hairdresser, the stylist was wonderful and um, we talked about all of these things. I did have to come home and do a little research because a week later, well, not come home, but today I looked it up a little bit because I'm like, I know there's a reason for this, but I can't quite remember what it is. Um, it's basically the friction and also that your hands, if you're touch, well, you don't even know what I'm talking about. You don't want to touch your curls with dry hands with nothing on them because it creates friction and this will also transfer the oils from your hands to your curls and that's why so many people say to try to keep your hands out of your hair. I'm not one of those people that can keep my hands out of my hair. I don't want to. What's the fun of having curls if you don't? touch them right so I'm okay with creating a little bit of frizz there but if you really 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 want to avoid frizz you need to put something on your hands and um, on a refresh day um, I don't do full wet refreshes I just I might spritz a lot of water on my hair or just dampen my hands under the faucet or spray them with water and scrunch it up just kind of depends on how I wake up I don't usually use a leave-in for refresh days. Sometimes I'll use uh, rose water. I'll just spritz that on and squinch it in. It just really depends on what my hair is feeling. So um, an option for getting something on your hands is just plain old water before you scrunch. I like to use the rose water sometimes, especially in the winter because it's so dry outside. I love this and it sinks into my hair and um, helps with the frizz. So you can spray it all over your hair or just on your hands. I'm just gonna do two little squirts and then I'm gonna flip. Make sure you can still see me and do my crunching. If that product is gone, Spray a little more if you want to use oil or just regular water then that's fine as well I'm still a little crunchy I'm gonna use a little water this time because I think that's plenty of rose water and do the shake 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 and there we go big poofy hair I still have a little bit of crunch. So this is a hard one for me because this is not a habit that I am in. I don't like to use water because I feel like it like recreates that cast. That's why I like to use the rose water. And then that'll help fight the frizz later. That's a little bigger than I usually like my hair. Y'all I know love big hair. But um, there you go. I'm trying to get you a good 
visual so we stayed away from the frizz it's nice and soft and I did not add any additional products to my hair so just make sure that there's nothing dry on your hands and I hope that you found that helpful subscribe if you did so that I can bring you just little more tidbits about curly hair all right have a great day bye I'm never